We play and call it work. Mini Wargamer Dave here from MiniWargamer.com. Welcome Wargamers to another fantasy studio vlog. Please enter the updated fantasy studio. Colin holding the camera, he's helped out a bit. Rob, he's helped out a bit too. Same with Quirk and Steven Leland. And uh, I believe that's all. I'm sorry if I'm forgetting anyone, but we've had people help because it's just, it's fun and it takes a lot of hands to create this stuff. But we got the timbers on the walls and we have the stone MDF board. This was the number one thing that I could think of in terms of cost effectiveness and ease of installation and most realistic looking. So when you look at it, I mean, this is my humble opinion, I think it looks pretty good. It's not real stone, obviously, but I think it's the next best thing. And not being a mason, that's my dad, he's the bricklayer, I wasn't going to attempt getting real stone. And then there's also the cost of it too. I think this will be good, good enough. So what you're looking at right here is the future spot of the blacksmith workbench. So there's going to be a table right here. The table will be dual purpose. It'll be both aesthetic, so you'll see all the blacksmithing tools and armor and weaponry above here, racked up there on the wall. And then on the table itself will be the tabletop surface for guests to place their miniatures when in a battle. Also, there's going to be a compartment underneath for them to put their bags and and whatever else, their lunch. No, not lunch. We we give you lunch if you play against us in the battery board. So whatever you I don't know, I want to know what you got in your bag that's extra to your army bag, okay? There's no sort of anything that you got to go through. Okay, now, now we're just, where's quirk when we need quirk and we need the language of random? We need a translator. Miniature oh. orcs. Miniature orcs and underneath there, that's where you put them. That is easy. I love it, man. Rob's our new video editor, and so uh, he's also a special effects makeup artist. So it's going to be pretty sick. We're going to do some cool stuff with this guy, and he's going to bring the videos to the next level. So in the future, you shall see a whole bunch of coolness that will transpire in the syllable that has a weird octave and then we can continue on with the rest of the tour of the updated studio. Where I'm standing right now is going to be the forge. So this is going to be the fire where all of the tools are going to be built. So you're going to get in one of those Opti mist fireplaces, I think is what they're called. I don't remember the name exactly. All I know is that when you put your hand in the flame, you don't burn your hand. It's mist, but it looks real. It looks real on camera and it looks real in person if your eyeball were to be a half inch away from the flame. It is that nut sauce. And then here, anvil's going to go in the corner. We've got a big stump and then the anvil goes on top. And then in that corner will be barrel. Because you've got to be able to cool down your, your iron when you're working with it. It's pretty important. Chimney stack is going to go up. I'm going to build that out of polystyrene. I'll mold it and then paint it and then weather it and powder it and then crack it and then eat it. Make it look all beautiful in an ugly kind of way. Right. Weather. Isn't that kind of like all of us? Or are we ugly in a beautiful kind of way? I'm beautiful inside. Yes. Which is why you like the gore. That's right. Oh, it all makes sense. I like it. it it's, it's very goodness and awesomeness. <laughs> okay, I hope you guys are enjoying uh, the updated studio. Next time you see the studio, it will be that much closer to complete. I want to show you one more thing right here. This is uh, quite exciting for me. So, picture polystyrene blocks that go in an archway above the door. You can kind of see a rough outline of it drawn with pen. And then the door itself is going to be wood planks going up and it's going to fit nicely in that uh, crescent shape underneath the, the wood dome with the keystone on the top. And it's actually going to be, I'll nail it right to the door, the planks, and it'll extend past there. So I think that'll be pretty sweet. So when you look at it, it'll look like a door that fits the theme. And then we have the coat of arms that go right here, which I picked up in an antique shop. 
showed you one of the other videos, but it was in amongst all that pile of stuff that was in the warehouse. And so there's a ton of tools and items in there, so it may have gotten lost. Either way, emblem right there. Maybe leave a link, leave a link. Leave a comment below as to what you think we should paint on the on the crest, on the emblem. Uh, we're open to ideas and suggestions. So please do. And let me know what you think of the studio. Any ideas that you may have as well. We're certainly open to them. These are being posted like the day of. So today is today, and you will watch it today, the day that the video is being made. So when you post a comment, I'll see it right away. That's what I was trying to say. I did, about, I did it in a roundabout kind of way, because roundabouts don't have stop signs, and you just go right through, and everyone's happy. So thank you very much, and happy working.